Hi all. I'm in uh, Burton Dasset Hills this morning, which is um, sort of on the Warwickshire Oxfordshire border. Um, that church behind me at the end of the drive there, that's All Saints Church, uh, which is a fascinating place in itself. Um, we're not here to see that today. Uh, we're here for something else, but that place, um, were, parts of it were uh, built by uh, Knights Templar monks. Um, <laughs> in fact, the whole of this area has uh, Templar connections, so I'm going to do a series of videos about this area, um, covering a lot of the important buildings and, uh, and show you some great stuff. I mean, if you're into uh, stuff like Indiana Jones, you know, this is a place you can come and discover this stuff for yourself. And this, what's, what I love about it is there's still things to be discovered if you know what to look for, okay? Um, so anyway, what we're actually here for this morning is this place here. As you can see, it's just alongside the church. This is a Holy Well. Um, it's actually a, a naturally occurring spring inside there. If you can see that in the dark. Uh, naturally occurring spring on the hillside here in Burton Dasset. Um, and it's been thought as being holy and uh, the water is supposed to have magical healing properties. And it's been thought of that way for, you know, 2,000 years or more. Uh, and so they looked after this. Um, and as a result, this structure was built around the spring um, to protect it. Now, depending on where you do your research, and I've done quite a lot on this place, um, this structure itself was built in uh, various periods of time. Um, anything from the 1400s, the 1500s, the 1600s, and some books say the 1800s. Now, um, look, reading between the lines, it seems that the 1800s, they did some restoration work, you know, things like these blocks here were replaced. That looks like the work of the Victorians. But the rest of the stonework here, uh, these, these blocks, they're made of the local stone that occurs naturally in the hillside. And it's the same as the, um, the blocks made in the, uh, the, the church is built from. And looking at the ware, the ware is very similar to the church. So I think this is very old stonework, perhaps 14 or 1500s. Again, perhaps added to in the 1600s with things like this. You see these lovely motifs here they put in. And there's some lettering that's almost obliterated. You can't really make out now. Um, the steps down, just here, they're made from a different, different type of block work because, uh, you know, sandstone just wears uh, and they wouldn't have lasted. So they're very early. Here they are. And you can see from the way the way that they're worn, they've been used for an awful long time. Down inside here, I'm just standing on a, on a stone trying to keep my feet out of the water, there's an old inscription in the middle of the wall over there that you can't quite make out. But the type of lettering on that looks medieval to me. Um, I'm going to try and investigate that further in a few weeks' time. Uh, there used to be a door on this building, some very old hinge, hinges. Kind of interesting. So, you know, they have really tried to look after this place over hundreds and hundreds of years. A few visitors before me here. Uh, this inscription is 1845, this one here. <laughs> sort of blows out of the water the fact that it was done in, uh, in the 1800s. Fascinating place. Here's a lovely, lovely carving. I don't know if you can make this out just here. There's a branch with leaves and some lettering here. This well has got, um, God, it's got some absolutely amazing stories about it. I mean, for uh, the last thousand years, there were stories of people seeing lights coming from this place during stormy nights. Um, little red glowing lights that come out of the well, spin round, and then shoot up into the sky. Apparently, these occur all over Burton Dasset Hills. Um, and it was taken seriously. They, uh, they've had a, teams from universities check this out. And they think it's some kind of uh, naturally occurring thing where the, um, the rock is, uh, is uh, moving and creating some kind of electricity that's not understood and they create these little swirling lights. Um, and the story of those lights is going to crop up again soon because when I come back to visit the church, there's some very interesting wall paintings on there which are absolutely ancient and which may hold secrets pertaining to that, that fact about the, uh, about the lights. Anyhow, for now, that's the Holy Well. And I uh, hope you'll keep watching uh, for this 
series of films I'm going to do just on this this one area because it really is an amazing place. Anyhow, all for me for now. I'll talk to you soon. Hope you keep watching. Bye.